Hi, I'm Alan Walker of Chat Talent. I'm here at Wreckfest 2018 now, and I'm really fortunate to have Lars Schmidt here with me. Yeah, it's good From to be Amplify. here. How are you, Lars? I'm fantastic. Thanks so much for uh, having time to chat with me. So, I understand this isn't your first Wreckfest. You're not a Wreckfest virgin. No, I'm not a Wreckfest virgin. Yeah, this is my second. So, uh, okay. yeah, I had a chance to come out last year and uh, experience Wreckfest for the first time. And uh, yeah, they invited me back, and I, I nice. happily accepted. Okay, and what are you doing here? What's your role? Yeah, so I'm uh, doing a little bit of everything. So, I'm emceeing the main stage, uh, and then I'm presenting on, actually I just wrapped up a presentation on the HR Open Source Future Work Report. Right, okay. And then after lunch I'm going to be uh, moderating a fireside chat with uh, Netflix's EMEA recruiting team. Oh wow, so they're yeah. keeping you busy though. A little busy, yeah. So yeah. Um, in terms of speakers, is there anybody you want to catch yourself if you get opportunity between MC? Yeah, you know, actually I'm, uh, I'm really excited for Matt Buckland's session this afternoon. So I've, uh, I've known Matt for years online. We met in person last year. Okay. Um, but I, I, yeah, he's really smart. I really uh, appreciate his view on recruiting and talent so looking forward to see what he has to share I haven't seen him present yet so oh, cool and this is, that's one of the things about these events isn't it we, yeah. we both are connected to a shitload of people online yeah, yeah. and you kind of converse with them to a certain extent but it's, it's online but then that opportunity to actually you know pound the flesh yeah. meet people properly and, right and well it's a warm connection right yeah. so you already kind of know somebody you know their interests you know their style you know their you know a bit of how they communicate so when you meet live for the first time um, that's great so for me last year was great because there's a lot of people that I have I, you know, I've interacted with online for years yeah. um, through Twitter and social whatever else that I hadn't met in person so yeah it's cool. great and it's two are included in yeah, that yeah so there you go meeting. so um, why do you like Wreckfest what's special about it yeah so mind? you know I go to a lot of events and to me the I first started following Wreckfest actually in I think year two on Twitter I was just following some of the tweets and the pictures and I'm like this seems really interesting and so when Jamie invited me out last year I jumped at the opportunity because to me from afar and certainly when I got here it is really a celebration of recruiting and it's yeah. a festival atmosphere and and you can see I'm you know you're not going to pan down but I'm wearing shorts <laughs> and a t-shirt most people here are Likewise. wearing shorts yeah and yeah. so it's it's casual it's relaxed people have the guards down so you can really you know the, there's great speakers there's great content but the networking the interaction the fe festival atmosphere the ability to to really get to know people on a level that uh, that you don't in most conferences mm. and really be fluid between sessions like you've got unplugged sessions you've got innovation stages you've got disruption stages there's lots of options so yeah. you know regardless of what you're interested in learning there's something for you and then the networking coupled with that to me makes this such a unique place is there anything like this in the states not quite like this okay. no no i mean i think you you know the people use the term unconference right for an event a lot of people want to say hey we have an unconference you know bill cool. borman and true yeah, like yeah. He has an unconference, but I think a lot of other people try to replicate that, and they don't get that. And Jamie and his team, they don't position this as an unconference, right? Like this is this is its own thing. It's Wreckfest, and yeah. there's nothing in the U.S. that quite matches the the vibe and the spirit and the energy of this. So that's uh, that's why I'm such a big fan. Oh, cool. Yeah. So for those that don't know you, it's probably a tiny proportion yeah. of people yeah. who work in HR and recruiting. What else do you do other than emceeing events? Like? Yeah, so my, uh, my my day job, if you will, is uh, I'm the founder of a company called Amp. And so we do strategic consulting uh, in the areas of employer brand strategy and recruiting optimization. Uh, and then we also do HR executive search. So um, part of my, that's kind of my, you know, that's how I make a living. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, three years ago, I co-founded an initiative called HR Open Source, yeah. which is a, a global not-for-profit to accelerate innovation in HR and recruiting. And so, in you know, we've traveled the world from Stockholm to Johannesburg, uh, London, kind of meeting with practitioners and learning about what they need, what are some of the barriers holding them back. And nice. then we built this free kind of community and platform to bring people together with the idea of sharing how they're doing, sharing their struggles, sharing their wins, uh, and inspiring their peers to really focus on kind of future of work oriented and progressive practices in HR and recruiting. Cool, so about so, raising the bar of the industry yeah, absolutely. And, and kind of bringing up those that may be a little bit behind and yeah. showing them what's possible, yeah. what they can do. I mean, think about it, like it. events like this are great for us because we can afford to be here, yeah. right? Uh, and so if you're a, a practitioner in a small company, you don't have a lot of budget, maybe you can't go to conferences, mm -hmm. maybe you can't go to events, maybe you can't get uh, memberships at CIPD or SHRM or whatever else. Exactly. So, why shouldn't that person be able to innovate? Yeah. Why shouldn't that person be restricted by their limited budgets? And that's kind of where we see HROS serving uh, a need is we want to build everything is entirely free. Mm. So regardless of where you are in the world, regardless of what resources you have access to, we want to make sure that you have access to high value resources that can inspire your work. 
So excellent. Yeah. Listen, great to meet you. Yeah, I know you've got to well. get back and do some more. And yeah, so I'm, and I'm about to uh, yeah, close out we'll that session. Catch so. up later for a beer, mate. All right, sounds good, Alan. Cheers, Count on it. Take Thank care, you. Buddy.